Hi Sai, how are you? All well, Didi. I was a little bored, so I thought I will come to you. I like the riddles you give me. Is it? Okay. Then I think you know that if you have some toffees, then in how many friends can you distribute them in equal shares? Yes, I know. If I have some toffees, the total number of toffees are divisible by certain numbers. So I can distribute them equally among these numbers. For example, if I have 18 toffees, I can divide them in 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 or 18 friends in equal shares. Are you going to ask me a riddle based on this? Mm, yes, but in a different way. I will ask you a question. Let's see if you can solve it. Suppose two of your friends are coming here just now. Then if you want to distribute some toffees among them equally, then how many toffees should you have? Please tell me again. I did not understand. Look, if you have 10 toffees, then you cannot distribute them equally among the three of you. Do you agree? Yes. But instead, if you have just nine toffees, then you can give three each, and none will be left. Got it. Instead of nine, even if I had six or twelve toffees, I could give them two two or four four to each. Good. How many more toffees can you distribute like this? Yes. Any number which comes in the table of three is divisible by three, and this is possible with any other number, right, Didi? Right. So say. You could solve this riddle too. Now I will have to ask you a more difficult one. Yes, please. Listen carefully. If suppose one of your friends calls you and tells that his little sister might also come along, then how many people will we have here? If his sister comes, then three, or else just two of them. Yes, and including you, there will be three or four people. Right. Now tell me, how many toffees should you have? so that you can distribute them equally if there are 3 or 4 people oh didi but you did not tell me how many persons will surely be there now that is the fun part of the question try to remember how you solved the previous question then you will know how to solve this one in the previous riddle there were three of us and i had to find the number of toffees any number which comes in the table of 3 is divisible by 3 and that would be the number of toffees and it was the answer now think how can you use the same logic for this riddle wait let me think here we have 3 or 4 persons if we are 3 any number divisible by 3 will do but if we are 4 we have to find a number which comes in the table of 4 and is divisible by 4 good now you think what you will need to do because here you don't know if you are 3 or 4 people Hmm understood we don't know if we will be 3 or 4 so we have to take a number which is divisible by both 3 and 4 so we can distribute the toffees equally among 3 and 4 suppose uh, i have 12 toffees i can divide them 3 3 among 4 and 4 4 among 3 good which other numbers like 12 can you use any number divisible by both 3 and 4 like 24 or 60 Right. That is 12, 12, 24, 36, 48, or any other number divisible by divisible by both three and four can be used. Oh, Didi, but 12, 24, 36, 48 are all the numbers from the table of 12. Very good, Sai. You observed correctly. The smallest number among these, which is 12, is known as the least common multiple or LCM of three and four. Okay, understood. Say now you tell me how many toffees will be needed if you want to distribute them equally among 6 or 9 people that is you have to tell me the lcm of 6 and 9 lcm of 6 and 9 means the smallest number that is divisible by both 6 and 9 that means smallest number from tables of 6 and 9 which is 18 well done say now tell me the lcm of 2 3 and 4 LCM for 2 3 and 4 is the smallest number which comes in the tables of 2 3 and 4 uh, if i write these tables 2 4 6 8 10 12 3 6 9 12 15 18 4 8 12 16 20 24 twenty, so the lcm is 12 good now you understood lcm properly now i will ask you another riddle remember 
you have to use lcm in this too all right ask me you like pineapple jam right so suppose you take some money from your mother and go to the nearby shop to buy some pineapple jam the shopkeeper keeps two bottles of jam in front of you one bottle has 150 gram of jam and cost rupees 25 and the other bottle has 200 gram of jam and cost rupees 30 now you tell me which bottle is cheaper the first one which costs rupees 25 all right now tell me buying which bottle will be more beneficial what does that mean both the bottles have 150 and 200 gram of jam the 200 gram bottle has more jam but the price of 150 gram jam is lesser this means that for comparison you have to make sure that both the bottles contain the same weight then the one with the less price gives you more amount of jam at less price so we can say that it is beneficial understood weight of both the bottles should be same so i have to find the number which is divisible by both 150 and 200 that means i have to find their lcm 150 three hundred, four fifty, six hundred, seven fifty, nine hundred, two hundred, four hundred, six hundred, eight hundred thousand. LCM of one fifty and two hundred is six hundred. This means if I buy four bottles of jam with one fifty gram, or if I buy three bottles of two hundred gram jam, then I will have bought six hundred gram of jam. Very good, say. Now find out the prices. One bottle of 150 gram costs rupees 25. That means four bottles will cost rupees 100, and one bottle of 200 gram costs rupees 30. That means three bottles will cost rupees 90. Oh, Didi, that means the second type of jam costs rupees 90 for 600 gram, but first type costs rupees 100 for 600 gram. So it is beneficial to buy the second type of jam. Exactly. we can solve this riddle in another way we can make the prices of both the bottles equal and then compare the weights then the bottle with more weight gives more amount of jam at the same rate so that is beneficial but remember even if we solve the puzzle this way the answer should be the same that is the f- second bottle of jam is beneficial try solving it then